Welcome. I will show you myasis treatment, myasis removal, and also what is myasis causes sign and symptom diagnosis and the treatment of this problem. Myasis is a parasitic infection caused by infestation of maggots. Common fly species that causes myasis include Dermatobia hominis and Cordylopia anthropophagia. The most common clinical types of myasis is cutaneous myasis, which provides for several clinical subtypes including furuncular, wound, migratory or creeping myasis. And also, aside from cutaneous myasis, there are nasopharyngeal myasis, ophthalmomyasis, intestinal myasis, and the urogenital myasis. Myasis cannot be transmitted from person to person. However, Flyderby can be transmitted to humans in several ways. It can be transmitted to humans as flies when they deposit their eggs near or around the wound or sore and they hatch the larvae and they can grow into the skin. And also, diphtheria flies can hatch their eggs to mosquitoes or ticks and when this insect bite an individual, the eggs of the diphtheria fly can then enter the skin of the insect bite. Flies can also lay their eggs on the ground or on objects that may contact with people's skin, such as damp clothing. Flies can also infect animals and cause infection humans who come in close contact with infected animals. Some of the symptoms of myasis depend on the specific type. Individuals with myasis may have general symptoms such as fever and lymphadenopathy. If it is furuncular myasis, Typically, it presents as an healing, boil like lesion that might be purulent, painful, pruritic, and tender. In wound meiosis, the larvae deposit in open wounds and may cause systemic symptoms like fever and the chills. In migratory meiosis, the larvae tend to migrate, and therefore, there is a tortuous, thread like red line marking through the passage of larvae through the skin. In nasopharyngeal meiosis, signs and symptoms include epistaxis, pulse meddling, nasal discharge, nasal passage of worms, nasal obstruction, headache, dysphagia, partial pain, and the like. In the case of ophthalmomyasis, individuals usually experience fever, eye irritation, redness, foreign body sensation, lacrimation, and eyelid edema. Intestinal myasis can cause abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, while urogenital myasis can cause dysuria and dematuria. Diagnosis of meiosis may involve the individual's travel history and sort of physical examination. CBC may not also be performed and typically shows leukocytosis, typically eosinophilia. Imaging tests such as ultrasound may also be ordered to determine the size of the larvae and establish the diagnosis. And the biopsy of the lesion is really done, but it might reveal inflammatory infiltrates. When we see the treatment, meiosis commonly resolves on its own as a larvae are slaved within weeks. In cutaneous meiosis, however, larvae extraction might be aided by applying topical substances like petroleum gel and the liquid paraffin to assist the migration of the larvae out of the skin. And for all types of meiosis, antiparasitic medications such as ivermectin to kill the fly larvae are commonly used. In wound meiosis, maintaining proper hygiene of the wound is very important. Thank you for watching.